Yo guys, what's going on? It's Dueling Unlocked here, and today we just got King of Games with the new Chronomalies. Uh, we only have two of the new Chronomalies, uh, two of combo figures, and we do have one of the trap card. So we are on Triple Moai, Double Bones, Double Skull. I do like Double Skull, because if you draw one, uh, it feels kind of rough if you have to pitch it, and then you don't have another way to get another one. Uh, we're on the Triple Nebra Disc. The one technology, the double MST, the triple compulse. And then the extra, we got Abyss Dweller, Utopia, Force Focus, Chronomaly Vimana, Utopia the Lightning, and Chitol Hoyuk. So yeah, uh, the skill is really good. Uh, the only problem with this deck is the locks. Uh, a couple of figures locks you into Chronomalies. And if you use a Nebridus Graveyard effect, you are locked into only Chronomaly effects that turn. And not even like, it's not even after you use the effect, it's the entire turn. So you gotta be careful with that. That's why like MST and Lance and is, is a bit questionable. But this deck has a very strong turn one and a very strong turn two. Uh, definitely, if you can get three figures, it will help the deck a lot. But you could deal with two. Uh, two is fine. I, I do think Valor is really, really good in this format. So the first part of the skill is you send one Chronomaly non-level 4. So originally I was on way too many level 4s. I was on Nebra Disc, Magella Globe, Tusper Rocket. So I just went down straight to just Nebra Disc. I feel like you probably could play one Magella Globe if you want. You probably could just put in one Magella Globe. I've, I've, that's a good idea. But uh, you, you could try it like this as well. So basically you send one non-level 4 Chronomaly to the Grave to add one non-level 4 Chronomaly to the Grave. So... The best case scenario is you send, if you go in second, you have figures in hand, you send figures, grab either, grab bones or skeleton, or, or crystal skull, I don't know why skeleton. Um, so yeah, uh, then you can special this, and then you can special this from the grave, and then you can like, go with your extenders. If you have crystal skull in hand, you can search, if you have never disc, you can normal summon. Moai, you could get up to like with three Moai, you can definitely get like up to triple Vimana somehow, some ways. Uh, you guys will see that in one of our games. Uh, I honestly um, have used a lot of different ways. Like you'll see some replays where we use Machu Max, some replays where we use Alandis. It's it's a bit crazy. It's a bit crazy. This deck can do a lot of different plays. But yeah, let's go and get into some replays for you guys. Uh, you guys can see we got King of Games. Uh, and we'll show you the replays. Uh, there's one I'm gonna show you guys before. Um, oh yeah, no, we'll just go with this one here. So this one was crazy, I believe. <laughs> uh, we'll go and show you guys the replay here. So you guys can see we're Legend 5, we're versus a Dumon. Dumon's theme goes kind of crazy though. So yeah, you can see here, the first turn set, they're gonna go in for Sage, Scepter, or Scepter and Sage, yeah. Fairy Cheer Girl, Fairy Cheer Girl draw a card. And then they go and go into Vespinado. They have a bunch of hand traps, uh, that's why they don't have any back row here. But here you go, you can see our hand, or we use the first part of our skill. We send Crystal Skull to the grave to add the Crystal Bones here. And, it, and you see, because we already have another Skull. So this is like why I like Double Skull right here. Um, you guys can see that. We can go and use Technology. We get to send the Akumpo figures, which is broken. Add the Moai. Crystal Bones, Crystal Bones effect is it's going to get Valued. We don't care. We really don't care. We're gonna go and use Skull Effects. We're gonna go Never Disc, Never Disc, grab Moai. Summon Moai. Use the second part of the skill to send any rank Chronomaly, or not any rank Chronomaly, any number monster of the grave to make your uh, monsters become that level. So you can see here we make one Vimana. <laughs> make a second Vimana. 
And you know what? What's better than two will be about a, a Combro figure's effects? It's gonna get full mindset. We don't care. We negate. And we go and make the third Vimana. They're gonna go and use the Vespinato effect. We say absolutely not. <laughs> and that's gonna be game. You can see the it is going Vimana, Vimana, Vimana. <laughs> it's actually broken. I could have went up to like another 800, like over 5,000 there. That is gonna be game number one. That was pretty crazy. <laughs> Triple v -bonded. That's You're not gonna normally be able to get those boards, but what do you do? That's really good. All right, so we'll go into the second replay here. Oh, one of these, one of the decks like worst matchups is Blue Eyes. So Blue Eyes is a pretty rough matchup, but I don't think this is Blue Eyes. I think this is Dark Magician because uh, Successor Soul also Mind Con. And mine, Dark Hole's not going to be too much of a problem now with the combo figures, but Successor Soul and Minecon are probably the deck's biggest weaknesses. Uh, you can see here... Okay, this is actually Blue Eyes, I think. No, it's DM, it's DM. Alright, so they go Dark Magician, Battle Chronicle, grab the Secrets of Dark Magic. And they set one. We're gonna MST the back row here. Secrets of Dark Magic. Goes into Dark Calvary, so that is protection from targeting. Which is a little annoying, but we could deal with it. We're gonna go Crystal Bones, Crystal Bones effect, summon the five, we go Skull, grab the Never Disc. We got the technology. Grab a but why we got the Acumbo figures as well. Now here we're gonna make Straight up make the Vimana. Never disc, never disc. Grab another Moai. I should have, what I should have done here is I should have just did the six right away. Then I could have another Vimana on board as well. Uh, but here you go. The boss monster. Chronomaly Atlantis. Print Disillusion Magician v Mana Negate. Twenty-three and eighteen. That is G G's. <laughs> so we negate the Apprentice Illusion in the damage step. You'd love to see that. Replay number three. I believe this is uh, fossils. I actually think. It's an interesting, uh, interesting one for sure. They're gonna go with a double set, drag down into the grave, which is annoying because now they get their fossil fusion. But it is good for us. They do get to choose which card they want to send, so if they would have sent figures, that would have been funny. Now we can send the figures, which is really nice. Miracle Rupture. They're gonna just. Alright, we can fast forward this. Alright, here we go. We draw a combo figures effects, technology effects. We, go, we get a compulse. Never disc. Never disc and search for Crystal Skull. Crystal Skull grabs a Moai. We're gonna go and go into. We grab the figures here for protection. And we're gonna go in for Hoyuk. Now uh, the reason we did it this way is because uh, to get over this monster is gonna have- I don't think it's a you can negate this, it's just an effect that happens. So to get over it we do have to use the Hoyuk. But we have the negate- we have Veiler. A combo figures is gonna come here, Dark Hole doesn't matter. Weathering Soldier is going to grab the Fossil Fusion. We're going to go and go in and make the rank 5. So the trap can go from deck or grave. So you don't have to really worry too much about your resources. At first I thought it was only from deck. 
But it's for both, so that's really nice. Tackle Crusader is going to force out the Vimana Negate. They're going to go Fossil Fusion. Machine Convoy. Double Fossil Fusion. <laughs> Using both my monsters. Toxic. Uh, we're going to use Hoik effects to make it become zero. They lose 16. Vimana going to grab some extra attack. We draw Never Disc really nice. Compulse. Never Disc effect. And here we can just go and use Hope Field Anomaly. Goes into Utopia. And Utopia the Lightning. Just so they don't get their Fossil Fusion or anything like that. Crystal Skull, grab you a couple of figures for protection. And that is a game. Alright, we'll go ahead and go again. Two more replays here. Uh, but yeah, Chrono is a really fun deck. Do I think it's tierless worthy? It could be tier 3. It could be tier 3. But... It also could be um, ro high road. It depends. We'll see how it does in the future. It is good. It's a lot better than it was, which is I'm glad. <laughs> and it's coggable, as you guys can see. Piercing the darkness. So we're gonna be going versus Dark Magician. We're gonna get the draw. Battle Chronicle. Successful Soul once again is one of the more annoying cards for us to deal with. I feel like I hit this card every time, by the way, the MST. I always hit the uh, Secrets of Dark Magic. If only we hit the Successor Soul, then we would have been cooking. Alright, so we're going to play this a bit interesting. We know it's Successor Soul set, so we're going to go Crystal Bows. We're going to try and bait out the Successor Soul. We're going to grab the Number Disc. Fulfilled Chronomaly, send the Utopia. Go into... Poyuk. Poyuk effects. Make it become zero combo figures. We haven't used our normal summon yet. Not you, mech. And now that we do 1400, we're like, alright, we can force out the... That. It's fine. And here, we just go in. I don't know why they didn't use Successor Soul. But, you know, hey, we'll take it, we'll take it. I think we would have won it either way, to be fair. And then the final replay, the Cog rank up. We did, unfortunately, uh, go versus Mazar here. Uh, this is probably the worst hand we had uh, as well. But we do make it work, we do make it work. You always want to open up figures if you can, and it helps a lot. Technology, we grab crystal bones, it's like, alright, sure. Moai, so we have protection, and we have a negate, and we have compulse. So it's not the worst, not the best, but it could be better. They're gonna get their special summon. Plays Nebula, grabs the Interstellar. Uh, they're gonna go ahead and summon. We're gonna try and ding, which we do have our negate. And so they'll set a card. For some reason they don't they don't know the mana effect, so we just get the damage in. I mean, I can't really blame them. You don't see Kronos too much on the ladder. Never Dis, Never Dis, grab Crystal Skull. Crystal Skull, grab Moai. They're gonna go and use the Vimana, or use Crackdown here. We're gonna go and send it. Fulfilled Chronomaly. We're gonna make ours become four or five. Make Vimana. We force out the ding again. We still have our Compulse, which 
it's, it's a bit weird that they do it this way, but I guess it's the way they did it. Um, but they go for number 107. And then we're gonna go and use our Compulse so that he can't use their skill. And that's gonna be GG's. That is King of Games with Chronomalies. Deck feels really fun. It is a really fun deck.